A very good afternoon to you and welcome to Lunchtime News, coming to you live and direct from the News First studio here in Colombo. I'm Stephanie Lazarus. Let's start off with a look at the headlines. President dismisses reports that the Tamil community is still being tortured by the security forces. The Department of Agriculture introduced a new insect to battle the spread of salvinia plants in the Parakrama Samudra. The island of Motuvarama that was in darkness for decades finally provided with electricity. Al Shabab stormed Restaurant Beach Resort in Somalia, killing 20 and detonating car bombs. It was a new beginning for the village of Motuarama Putlam yesterday. This was uh, because of the first time ever the residents of the island were provided with electricity. Around 100 families live in the Motuarama island. A school is also located in this tiny island. Until now, the island was never supplied with electricity and this caused severe inconvenience to the locals. Sri Lanka Sustainable Energy Authority, which comes under the Ministry of Power and Energy, commenced a project to provide electricity to the island via solar power. Solar cells and panels were presented to the 100 houses under the project to give light to every household in the country. The cells and panels were given free to the villagers and can be mobilized based on the needs of the users of the village. On to more local news, a seed certification and plant protection centre, which comes under the Department of Agriculture, has introduced an insect species to battle the spread of salvinia in the Parakrama Samudra. Chief advice of the centre, Chandrika Herat, said that the insect species can be provided based on a request made. On the 19th of this month, news first reported on the spread of salvinia in the Parakrama Samudra. While the dangerous cost to the Parakrama Samudra was highlighted, agrarian organizations and the Department of Irrigation took measures to remove the plants the very next day. However, agrarian organizations point out that removing the rapidly spreading salvania plant from the water source is not an easy task. Thereby, the Seed Certification and Plant Protection Center in Gannoru introduced an insect species to prevent the spread of the plant. Minister of Sports Darsiri Jasekara says that investigations are currently underway against individuals linked to match fixing. The minister expressed these views speaking at an event held in Polka Villa. The development committee meeting of the Polgarville electorate was held under the auspices of Minister Daya Sirja Sekara and the Polgarville Divisional Secretariat. According to the information we have received thus far, none of the current cricketers are involved in match fixing. However, as our Prime Minister stated, I see this as an issue that needs to be addressed without giving preference to position. This is because not only is this an injustice to the country, but it is also a betrayal of the national team and the country. Therefore, I think the police have already taken steps to investigate this matter and ensure that the maximum punishment will be imposed. After we receive this information, I believe that we can take strict measures against those responsible. Reports have emerged of a herd of wild elephants terrorizing the Palu Kadavala village in Gargamo. Footage of the herd was captured this morning as well. According to a correspondent, the herd of wild elephants storm in the village at night from the woods close to the Palu Kadavala tank. This morning, our cameras managed to capture the manner in which the herd was traveling towards the tank via the Morogolla Gama Palu Kadavala main road. Following our views that were expressed over the Theravadi Bhikkhu dialogue. For over 25 years, the governments of this country made attempts to hold discussions with the Mahanaikas to present the Theravada Bhikkhu Khatiwakad bill and get it passed in Parliament. The incumbent government, with the blessings of Mahanaikas, have presented this bill to Parliament. When you look at what is taking place in the Sasana at present, it is paramount that we have Theravada Bhikkhu Khatiwakad. This is our opinion. If one is against it, 
They are the persons who are fit to wear the robes and who request the driver's license for vehicles. Persons who love the Sambo the Sasana and who want to work for the betterment of the Sasana would never be against this. <laughs> We have a dialogue. We have one in our sect. We too have this dialogue today. As we have our own dialogue, it is the same with the other sects. We will inform the governments the times on this. Remove that. <laughs> An event to commemorate Vladimir Lenin took place at the National Library in Colombo yesterday. The commemorative address was delivered by the General Secretary of the JVP, Tilvin Seva. Six point two million people cast their vote to end the rule of Mahinda Rajapaksa. However, what has taken place after that? The administration that followed is also similar to what was ended. Why? Even though the rulers and people have changed, the system is still the same. It has not changed. All of us are aware that the country is facing a serious economic issue. If you read the budget of Ranil Vikramasinghe, you will understand this. It was prepared by them and not by us. The tasks that will be carried out in the year 2016 and the manner in which revenue would be generated have been mentioned in that. There is a deficit as well. That gap is not a small one. It was noted in the budget that this deficit would be 740 billion rupees. So that's a wrap of lunchtime news. Remember, if you need to find out what's more in the local news, you can simply log on to our website www.newsfirst.lk and your latest news update will come your way at 155. Take care.